return of passenger rail uh, to our region is a, is, a, is a game changer. It really has the potential um, to, to be a huge boom for us. Um, in 2015, since the return of rail, over 16,000 people have, uh, have gotten on or off a train here in Northampton. That's in 2015. Uh, the ridership numbers um, have continued to grow. Uh, they've exceeded what the Knowledge Corridor study said would happen if we diverted this rail uh, to the traditional Connecticut River Valley uh, route. We still have a lot of work to do. Um, Many of us have been speaking uh, with the administration in Boston and with the Secretary of Transportation about the fact that you've invested, you've made this major capital investment in this rail bed, um, and we should probably have more than just one train a day going up and down it if we really want to maximize the investment. We really feel like uh, for the state and federal government to maximize the investment, we should be having additional train service um, potentially with the, with the Hartford rail coming up from New Haven, the potential for some commuter style rail along this route. Um, we just really want to see, uh, we want to see this happen. So in addition to all the work that we're trying to do internally, we need help. We need the support of people um, in the Valley who care about rail. We need advocates. We need, we need community people to step forward and to advocate. The website is, is neutral in many ways, it, it's information. And we brought together a lot of information that we both found in our, in our various interests and work over the last three years at least. And uh, that's hard to find. It's out there and most of it's public information, but it's hard to find and it's hard for citizens or users of rail to find this resource. It's a resource for users. And I hope if you're riding a train or you're thinking you know you want to be a shipper, um, all those things come into play. So, if you go to this page on the website, you'll get some text, and I won't go into that. That uh, I'll let you read the text. But we have we put pictures and we put maps up here, and this is an example of what the rail line looked like before it was reconstructed. The way this is designed is you come to a section on the site, and there's words so you can read about it. There's often cases where you can click on links to go get more information. We try not to write too much, because um, we want to give an overview, but we don't want to be a primary source. But it's a little bit like Wikipedia. You go through, you get some pictures, and if you want more information, you go down to the bottom, and here you find all sorts of documents that are on various sites all over the internet related to this project. So coming back up here to the top, um, here we have, there are other infrastructure pro projects you say, well, we have a platform, why do we need a new platform? And the reason is there are requirements for Americans with Disabilities Act where there should be a 400-foot-long platform put in. The project's currently on hold, but we understand there's going to be some kind of enlargement platform at some point in the future. In the planning department, all these documents related to um, various construction projects in the city, and this is one of the early designs for the new platform in North Hampton. Another local project, um, there's a plan to build, as many people know, an underpass uh, to connect the bike trail to North Hampton. What we put on the site is a map. If you go to here, travel options, for people that aren't familiar with taking the train up here, we've, we've provided explanation of what's possible. So basically, from Springfield, only up to North Hampton and Greenfield, one train a day, it's the Vermonter. If you go to Springfield, you have options to take a shuttle service down to New Haven. There's Northeast Regional Service, which goes down to New York or Washington. There's even one train that goes as far as Virginia. And there's an east-west train called the Lakeshore Limited, which runs from Boston through Springfield to Chicago once a day. We have information here about connecting services uh, that are mostly out of Springfield, but the local bus services for people that aren't familiar with the bus networks in the Pioneer Valley. information then that we pulled together about the four stations here in the Pioneer Valley. That starting with the Greek, in alphabetical order, the Greenfield Station. So what we've done here is we put information, so here's the address, you could put it in your GPS. If you want, you can click on a map, find out exactly where the station is located, if you're not familiar with the area. Um, we've had to do a lot of research to figure out how to park in Greenfield. There's parking issues at, Greenfield, at both Greenfield and Northampton. 
um, because this is a new service. If you, I won't go into the details here, but if you want to do, if you want to park long term in Greenfield, you need to go onto a website or you have to go to the city hall to get a day pass to park for multiple days. And this is all explained here in how you would do that. If you're coming to Greenfield and want to catch a bus, you can click on this link and it will take you to information about the bus network in Greenfield. We have information on long-term parking at the garage and for those of you who need to know how to get there, Google Maps provides a nice little way that we can put in the two locations and show you how to walk. Now we talk uh, about the Vermonter specifically because that's the train that runs up and down the valley today. A single train that runs in each direction. Many people don't actually realize where the Vermonter goes. It starts in northern Vermont and goes all the way to Washington, D.C. Um, we have information. Here's the timetable. So you can see when the train actually runs. Again, if you want more information, you can click on links down here at the bottom. We put a little bit of information about the history because we didn't want to go too deep because there's a lot of history. But as just a little taste, what we've done is a little background on what's run here in the valley and a couple of images of prior schedules. Now we get into some information about what's coming soon, what's in planning, and what's proposed. Because there are a lot of ideas for how to improve this line. Uh, great railroads for a second. We have some information here about the different lines that exist in the valley. Uh, we're trying to get a better map, but this is what we have at the moment. This is the basic rail infrastructure that exists. The Connecticut River main line is this one right here through the valley. Now, an interesting thing we've done, which people have been sort of surprised by, is we've found a collection of rail customers on the internet, publicly available information, and we put that data together on Google Maps. And people sometimes ask us, well, does anyone act, are there any freight trains on this line? There actually are freight trains. People who live near the tracks hear them. This is a Google map of where the freight lines are, who owns the freight line, or who operates the freight line, and, and where the customers are located. Try, trying to show here is the kind of customers that exist and the, freight, <coughs> the use of the freight network here in the valley today. And these red dots are actually the Pioneer Valley Railroad. And their connection here is with this black line, which is CSX, so that in rail parlance, they interchange traffic or freight traffic with CSX in Westfield at their yard. And just look at all their customers. Now, just to go back here quickly to some of this, we have some information about what we're trying to do here, um, who we are, contact information, there's a couple of Q and A's, there's a news link, so we captured some of the historical news information, <coughs> excuse me, uh, news reports of what's been happening in the region here. Once Now that the site is live, we'll be providing sort of ongoing updates with, with the news about what's happening with the rail service in the valley through the site. We have a list here of there's lots and lots of, if you want to read, there's lots of reports and studies that have been done about this line over the last 10 years. Hundreds of pages have been written in studies. Now, there's also a list of related groups. We're not the only rail advocacy group out there uh, in the region. These are other regional groups in the Northeast. We also have uh, links to other related groups. There's a very, uh, there's a Facebook group dedicated to the Vermonter that's available online. There's also, there's a very strong rail community of people in this region. This last tab here, Get Involved, where, which sort of leads us towards toward the advocacy part of this, where we have an informational website, but what we're hoping to do is have that lead towards establishing an advocacy, advocacy group. So what we started to do is put together information on you know, how to contact elected officials, who to write to who to contact, um, how to contact the mayor. I mean, the mayor is right here. Um, um, how to contact the media for writing letters to the editor. We're, we're still putting information together, but we're basically, this is going to be a sort of a stepping stone, we think, to establishing a, a strong advocate for pasture rail and freight services here in the valley.
And the idea here is the more information you provide, the more transparent, the more people get interested, will get involved, they'll get active, and they'll do something. So that's what we're hoping for. This will be a, a tax-exempt nonprofit organization, but even that takes money. So uh, we're asking for donations. You can donate on the site. It's not, they're not tax-exempt at the moment, uh, because that will take five or six uh, months, apparently, to do, to accomplish. Um, but we will accept donations to be able to fund that, also to be able to pay, Ben talked about self-hosting, there are all kinds of costs associated.